This is Mary at the Mary Atier, and I am getting ready to bind my challenge journal for November. I have the cover all finished. I have two signatures. It measures, uh, the signatures measure seven by five. The cover is about seven and a half by five and a half with a wrap around. I have my thread out and an awl and I'm punching, I'm making the pamphlet stitch. I'm punching three holes, one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. And I'm measuring out my thread here. Now if you're doing, I'm going to make a tassel, so I'm making a really long thread, but if you're not making a tassel, three lengths of the height of your journal is fine. You want to use a strong thread. I am using a crochet thread, so I actually double my thread and I have a really long length of thread and if you go slow and go careful you'll be fine I thread it from the inside out to the back back up through the inside through that loop and this is called a blind knot see how it's coming through and then I'll go from the inside through the center hole out to the back just very carefully go through. I had to make this video in fast forward. We've had some problems with our internet connections. So I had to film it on my camera and it would have taken hours to upload it in real time. So I put it into fast forward. I'm trying to explain to you what I'm doing. It's a very, very simple pamphlet stitch. Uh, I do it the same way as everybody else does but uh, I add a tassel at the end. I come up here, tie a knot through that little top inch up there, go out to the bottom, and this is where I start to do my tassel. I have a really long double thread. If you get a knot, I don't have a knot there, I'm just kind of pulling it loose. If you get a knot, don't pull it tight. Shake it loose, pull it loose, and you'll be fine. Go slow. You've got all afternoon. Get everything off of your desk when you work with a long thread. Now I'm just securing this knot. I secure it both on the inside and up at the top there on the outside too. Just secure it right up there at the top. I'm getting ready to make the tassel here. I make a tassel for each signature on my little journals. I lay it flat, bring the thread down about two and a half or three inches down, hold on to the bottom, and then double it back. Secure that first loop. I like to secure it several times on the first loop. Keep the loop away from your needle thread. If you have to put it down with washi tape while you're doing that, that's fine. And I'll knot it several times there, and then I'll grab that loop and tie it on shoelace style with my needle thread. Now I'm ready to do the second loop. I bring the thread down, double it back to make a second loop, and secure it again with a knot. You can knot this several times up at the top. It forms a tassel, especially with black thread. It all blends in. Knot it several times. Just go slow. Keep your threads straight and even. You'll be fine. And the more loops you get, the easier it will get. Now, I'm doing my last loop here and I just pull the remaining thread off of the needle and there is my first tassel. Now I'm going to use a hairband for closure. I'm getting ready to do my second signature here. I will clip it in maybe about three eighths of an inch from the first signature. I'm going to use a closure, a hairband for a closure. I'm going to get one there and I'll wrap it around the first signature. It's a little bit loose so I go get a tighter one. 
I have ones for my larger journals and ones for the smaller journals. There we go. And I'll take that first tassel and I'll just twist it around the closure just to keep it out of the way. Now I'm ready to bind the second signature in the very same way. Measure about three lengths of your thread, uh, the height of your journal, about three times if you're not making a tassel. If you're making a tassel, I do that ten times and then I pull that big thread out and double it back on itself. I like to use a double thread when I bind because this is crochet thread. It just makes it a little bit stronger. I clip it off of my skein and then I'll straighten it out. I'm punching with my awl. I'm punching three holes, one in the center, one about an inch from the bottom, one about an inch from the top, and then another top one about a half an inch from the top hole. Right up there at the top. That's so that I can make my tassel up at the top. And then I'll go through on the back and punch back through to the inside just to make sure that my my holes are open enough to put the needle through. Now I straighten out the thread. I thread the two open ends through the needle and have the looped end of the thread, of the double thread, down at the bottom. So the two open ends of the needle go through. I go through the second hole from the top, from the inside out. Now gently pull this through. Gently pull it through. As I said, I'm, I'm in fast forward motion. So you're seeing this a little bit faster than I actually did it, but I didn't have an internet connection to do this live. Now I'm coming from the back, inside the top, very top first toe there and see how I have my thumb in that loop on that thread down on the lower left I'll pull that thread all the way through making sure making sure that my thread is nice and even you can use a long thread if you go slow keep it from catching on things now I'll bring that thread through that loop and then I'll make what I what is called a blind knot Needleworkers will do this a lot. And it just avoids that little nitty knotty in the center of your journal. Now go from the inside of your signature through the center hole back out to the outside. Very simple pamphlet stitch. You see Penelope's holding on to my thread for me so I can use both hands to to thread everything through. She's holding on to my needle for me. Go from the center outside, back through, in through the bottom hole. I was just marking around those little center holes there with my marker. I'm coming from the back, bottom, back through to the inside. Pull it through. If you've got a long thread, so just pull it through gently. Keep things untangled, just pull it through gently, pull it through gently, gently pull it through, there we go. Now we're going from the inside bottom to the inside center and pulling it through to the outside, just pulling it through and coming from the outside center to the second hole there at the top into the inside and then I will make a little knot right at the top in inside just to secure my thread before I pull it through to start the second tassel. Go through the top inside to the outside pull it through gently just gently pull it through and make a knot I do a couple knots right out, right up at the top just to secure everything before I start looping my tassel. Now I'm doing 
The second tassel, the first loop, I pulled the thread down about two and a half to three inches, double it back up to the top, and make another knot. You'll want to make sure that you get knots on these top tassels. See that I even do kind of like a shoestring knot with the thread on my needle and the loop the first time. Because if you don't secure those knots, those tassels can pull out. So secure it really good at the top. There I'm making the second loop, pulling it down, doubling it back on itself, securing it with a knot. Once you do this, I do this about once a month. <laughs> and once you do it for 12 months, this is just a very easy process. It gets easier and easier when you know what you're doing. Now I slowed down my fast forward motion. So I'm doing my first loop. I brought the thread down. I doubled it back. I'm securing it, the knot. I'm going a little bit slower here Actually, I forgot to put it in fast forward, but you can see, you can see how slow I am working in real time. Just securing everything, pulling the threads, making sure they're all nice and even, tying it into knots, making the fourth loop, bringing it down, folding it, doubling it back on itself, tying a knot up at the top, pulling it through the loop, tying another knot. And I do think I make a fifth loop. Yes, I do. I make a fifth loop, knot it at the top, and then whatever's left on my needle, I'll just pull through to the bottom. It does, I do not make a sixth loop, I don't think. And then I'll, I'll just clip it off. Pull it off of my needle and clip it at the bottom. So there I go. I have my second tassel for my second signature. Knotting it really good. I will go in there and knot that several, several times. As I said, if you don't knot it at the top of each loop that you make, and make sure you got a good knot, you can pull those loops shorter. But if you knot it really good, you'll be okay. And that's what I'm doing here. So I just don't want them to pull out. There we go. Now I pull it tight and clip, clip off the needle thread. Give the needle back to Penelope and thank her for her help. She held the needle while I was looping things, making my tassel. There I have both tassels. Now I'm going to determine the length I want. I close up my journal, the closure there, and I clip it right down at the bottom. The thing with making the tassels, you can always cut them shorter. So I cut it fairly long, and then if I don't like it, I can shorten it up. But there's my journal. There's my November challenge journal. I have two signatures, 16 pages, front and back 16 pages, eight pages folded in half for each signature. It makes 32 pages. So I'll do a challenge a day in November. I'll work right along with the challenges. I'll be putting the challenges out. So you see, I just kind of, now I don't trim the edges because it doesn't bother me to leave those uneven, the edges, because I have the wrap around. That's why I have the wrap around. The wrap around will cover that side margin. But yeah, I have enough pages for every day in November. I have a little center gap there where I can put an inclusion if I want. I'm very happy with the way this journal turned out. I could put pockets in there if I wanted to. On my monthly journals, my larger monthly journals, I do put a pocket in the inside front cover. I use a hairband for the closure. And I take a little marker, and this has a little metal pieces on this hairband. And I don't know if that permanent marker is going to stay, but I kind of darken them out just for the fun of it. So there's my journal. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them the best that I can. I hope that you 
try to make you a little journal. Uh, you don't have to make it this fancy if you don't want. Just a little pamphlet stitched by you. So I will see you on the next page.